Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to use tree view control with your Visual Basic Windows Form application. Uh, I have already created a sample project and I have taken a button and I have changed its, its uh, text to add node. Now, uh, I will go to my toolbox and I will uh, search for the tree view and drag and drop into my form so this is a tree view and I drag and drop into my form okay and if you want you can change the name of this tree view to your desired name but I will uh, leave it as default which is tree view 1 now I will select this button and I will double click it and in here I have two lines of code already written which is I have declared a string variable which is n and I'm taking a input from an input box and I'm transferring or assigning this input to this n so right now when I run the program and when I press this add node it asks me uh, as an input box what I want to enter and when I click OK it assigns what I have entered to this n variable okay so write these two lines of code to initialize the input box now to add a node to a tree we will uh, write first of all the name of our tree view which is tree view 1 right tree view 1 dot nodes because we are adding the nodes right dot add okay so add node and what are we going to add here there are two arguments basically which this add takes first is the key of this of the tree view node so for example I'm going to give the key the whatever I enter in the input box right so I will pass this n as a first argument and as a second argument also you can see it here if you have this uh, description this is taking key as a string and text as a string so second argument is a text as a string okay and right now I'm uh, taking uh, the key and text as same so we don't get confused and now when I run the program and when I uh, click this add button and I add some text for example some name and once again some name and once again some name so it adds as a node to our tree view right we can select it but we haven't included the functionality for selecting these items so let add let's add the functionality for selecting now after these two lines of code where we have declared the input box just go just go below that and write here if tree view one which is my tree view dot selected node is nothing then then what I will do is if something is not selected then I will add a new node to the tree view otherwise what I will do else I will write else I will add a sub node or child to the selected node right so I will write tree view one dot selected node which is the node we have selected dot nodes dot add okay and now we will pass the same to 
n variable which is the string form from the input box right and now when I run my program I can add names or nodes as usual second name and the third name but I can add a sub node now when I select any item or any node from here for example I'm selecting this first name which is mark and when, now when I add a node mark is a boy for example so you can see it has created a child to your node okay now I want to add a child to this sub node also then I will say 15 years okay so when you select some node it's adding a child to the that node once again right so now you know how to select and how to add a sub child to your tree view now for example you want to add some image to your tree view so I will show you how to add images to your tree view nodes what you need to do is just select or not select but go to your toolbox and we will use image container or image box or image list from our toolbox search for the image list okay this is the image list drag and drop into your form and you will notice this image list goes down below here what we will do is we will just click this small triangle button from here and we will say choose images okay and in here we can choose images so what we need to do just click this add button and whatever image you want to choose in the list of image so when we drag and drop image list we can choose a list of image and contain this list of image in this image list right for example I choose one two three and four images right now and I click open and you see all the four images are there in my image list and if you see it carefully we have the number assigned for these images these are called index of the image list right first image has index 0 second has 1 third has 2 and fourth has 3 okay now just click ok and you can set the image size from here also so you see here image size right now is 16 by 16 which is a smaller version of images let's make them bigger for example 32 by 32 so we will be able to see the images better or let's make it 64 to make it make the images more bigger 64 by 64 okay so now you have said that you can also set the depth of the images which I'm leaving as default and now we have the images in the image list now what we need to do is select your tree view and go to the image collection property okay we have this image list here when you when we select this tree view right so we have image list we select the image list one which is this image list in which we have the images right and so now we have the image list in our tree view let's see once again okay we have the image list right and we have the index for the images which we know now once again I will click this add node button and in here what I just need to do is I need to add extra extra argument to the node so just when you have where you have a tree view one dot node dot add and after these two 
this key and this um, text we will make one more argument as image index as you remember image index 0 1 2 3 right so I will give the image index 0 and comma <coughs> selected image index so fourth argument is the selected image index which is 1 so this will show the image number 0 and this will show the image number 1 right okay here also in the selected image I will add 0 comma 1 okay now when I run the program once again and I want to add a node once again you have this image and you have this name mark once again some other name you have second name but when you select any any of the node the image changes so this is index number 0 which is not selected and this is index number 1 for the image which is selected right let's add one more node and the same phenomena will occur for this also right so whenever you choose some image it changes according to the selection okay now for example you want to use all the images which is there in the image list one by one so what I will do is once again I will go to the this button double click it we have this code already I will declare outside this method for button click just below this class form one I will declare dim i as integer is equal to zero okay so I have declared a variable i which is integer and we will loop this integer in a loop okay so I will write here i is equal to in the brackets i plus 1 which will loop my images and I will say mod 4 because I have 4 images so it will loop every 4 images right and this i I will replace it with these index 0 and 1 so I will say i here i here I will go here and I will also go here okay so uh, what I have done I have declared this integer and I'm looping this integer one by one in the loop of four and I just replace this index of the image by this integer once again I will run my program add some node and once again add some node and once again add some node and once again add some node okay so you see whatever images I have selected these all four images are different but when I now add one more images it will start looping the earlier image so this first image and this last image is same because we only have four images and it's start looping once again right so now even when we add it will add the second image this image and this image will be same right this image okay or when we add a next image because we have selected this node it will add the next image here so in this way you can loop your images also so I think you have uh, now understood how to use a uh, tree view basically with your visual basic windows form application i hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now